Throughout the ages, compassionate, enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. Supreme Master Ching Hai often spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates during international gatherings or through tele- and video conferences. On October 3, 2010, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly and graciously answered the questions of Supreme Master Television staff about the sun and other secrets of the universe. We now invite you to listen to part one of the 12-part series entitled Revelations on the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe, a video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Hello. Hello, Master. Nice to see you. Mm. Master, since the previous fascinating video conferences with you about Mars and Venus, um, in which you unveiled many secrets of the universe, we realized that there is still so much about outer space that eludes human knowledge. So today, we would be very grateful, Master, if you could kindly shed some light on some of our queries and share with us more of your divine wisdom and insights about this topic. Ah, sure. I do what I can. Huh? Mm. Thank you, Master. Master, so I will have the first question. Um, you said once, Master, that the sun is a fifth level being. Yes. Could you further explain about it? Is it like humans in the way that it had to progress through the first, then the second levels, until it reached the fifth level? Do planets evolve like this as well? Planets, yes, but the sun didn't. The sun were pure. Fifth level beings, we did not have to be evolved or like human beings, okay? These are the fifth level beings who, out of love for our beings on this planet and the nearby, manifest themselves as a sun, okay? To help us. They did not have to evolve. They came directly, purely from the fifth level, okay? Okay, Mr. Planets do evolve, yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Master. Uh, you're welcome. How is the sun good or beneficial to humans and life on this planet, Master? First of all, physically speaking, without the sun, <laughs> we'd be dying, huh? Okay, or dead, or gone already. Many things cannot grow, yeah? Human cannot grow. There are no food, yes? Uh, no circulation of the, the waters, yes? purification of the air, etc., etc. The sun has a lot of benefit. The sun cure many diseases. For example, in the old time, they did not have tuberculosis medicine yet. They would put the patient in a sunny room or a sunny area and open a window and let the sun come in to cure the TB. Of course, when it's too heavy, maybe they cannot. But uh, maybe in initial stage, then they can cure like that, okay? And so they put the patient in the sun a lot, a lot, a lot, whenever they can, so to cure uh, tuberculosis. That's in the old day. Nowadays they have medicine. They take maybe six months, nine months, one year, okay? Two years, then it's done. The sun cure your aches and pains, yes? It uh, eliminates toxin, yes? Through sweat, when it's hot, you sweat, and also a cure some of the disease or other ailments. Um, the sun gives, uh, you know, benefit to all, okay? <laughs> Bad or good, yeah? The sun who glorifies the whole world that we live, and it gives life to all beings, plants, minerals, animals, etc., yeah? Sun gives also people happiness, carefree feeling. Sun is necessary for all on earth. No sun, we'll probably all die. 
You see how people are happy when they go on vacation in the sunny area? Yes. For example, the Italian people, why they are happier than other country? Why? Huh? Because they have a lot of sun. A lot of sun. With the Spanish, uh, Italian, they're just more relaxed. Yeah? And they care a little less about material things than the people who have uh, a less sun. Okay? The sun gives them too much contentment. So they feel like they don't need much material comfort. Capish? Yeah? Yes, Master. Okay. For example, like that, huh? Mm. Thank you, Master. And I myself, huh? Love the sun. I adore the sun. Yeah, I could stay in the sun all day. And if it's too hot, I just cover a little bit with the cloth. I could look at the sun midday even. It doesn't hurt me. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me. It regulates or it's, it's screened a little bit so that I, my eyes won't hurt. Yeah, the sun is a beautiful being. So I love the sun forever. Yeah. I love the sun a lot and the sun loves us forever. Remember I told you how I feel better in a tent than in a big house? Yeah. I still do. <laughs> Why? Because more contact with the sun, yes. More shining through, yes and less uh, restriction because the tent is very small. When you sit in the tent, even if you're not outside in the sun, the sun shines through. Huh? Uh, you feel happier. I think that's why. Huh? The house is, is big and heavy, you know, the sun doesn't filter through. I still do that, you know? So I feel less restricted and more free, more breathy, you know? <laughs> Similar. I feel better in a cave than a big house because more close to the outside space, you know. And I guess that's what it is. We need protection, but house also is a restriction. Yeah? Yes, yes Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Master, the, the sun is home of the fifth level beings. So in the spiritual levels, we also have the fifth level. So is the sun the home of all spiritual practitioners who have reached the fifth level, Master? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not all. Ah, I have told you sun beings came directly from the fifth level, undiluted, yeah? Yes. Unchanged, unprogressed, yeah? Okay. And uh, they volunteered to do this job as uh, sun beings. So uh, it's not like all the people who on the fifth level will fly direct to the sun and sunbathe all day long. Don't dream about that, okay? <laughs> it's not your job. If this is your job, maybe, yeah. All right? Okay, yes, Master. If you're fifth level and it's your job, maybe. <laughs> but I'm not sure they let you. <laughs> okay, they love their job. Hmm? Okay, mm. Master. The sun is occupied, sorry. <laughs> But there are many other suns and maybe other planets, maybe they will accept lesser sunny people like we are, huh? Okay. Master, as the sun is a fifth level being, is the sun's brightness or intensity the same as what we would experience on the fifth level? On the fifth level, we experience more than the sun, okay? If the sun were to have all the intensity from their beings, the beam on earth, we die, dead, dead, dead. We are so dead, we have no time for conference, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the fifth level beings, as the sun, they regulate their brightness so that we can bear it, all right? If they go full gas, you and I, goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Understand. Okay. Master. Some planets have two suns, so does that mean they are more spiritually advanced? And are all suns fifth level beings, Master? Yeah, yeah, all suns, fifth level beings. Uh huh. And if we have more two suns, that means they need more. <laughs> are they more deserving? Okay. All right. Thank you, Master. Hi, Master. So nice to see you, Master. Thank you so much. You're beautiful. My God, thank you. Master has mentioned that the sun is full of love and happiness. Yes. Could you tell us about the benefits of sun gazing? Uh, are there health or spiritual benefits of doing so? Sun gazing. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Yes, yes, yes. If you gaze into the sun about ten or so minutes in the morning, early morning, you know, when the sun just rises, and ten or so minutes, more or less, huh? Oh, more, not less, huh? <laughs> in the evening when the sun sets, and some people do that so they don't have to eat anymore. Okay? Yes. And health benefits, you know already, I told you. If we go sunbathing, we cure many illness and even cure our psychological misalignment, yeah? And also uh, depression and all that. You see, some country with less sun, they feel less happy than the country with a lot of sun. Yes, Master. Is that not so? Yes, right, Master. Okay, then you know already. Thank uh-huh. you, Master. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> when we practice light meditation, it's like seeing thousands of sun. So would sun gazing help a quaining practitioner to progress, Master? No need gazing, okay? If you sit in the sun to meditate, it's very, very, very good for your spiritual progress. It could mm-hmm. increase hundreds of thousands or millions of spiritual points if wow. you concentrate well, if you deserve it, okay? Wow! I told you, meditate from 10 to 3 is a good time. Why? Because the sun is at the highest. Huh? Okay? Yes, Master. Yeah. Okay. When you meditate in the sun, your meditation merit uh, multiply, okay? Wow. Even even the people who don't practice Guanyin method, if they just practice Zen or something like that even. Uh, let me see if I have it somewhere for you. The people who meditate on Guanyin method benefit the most from the sun. Other practitioner benefits also a lot, but not as much as the Guanyin method. I just don't know why. <laughs> That's just the way I have researched. I have been told, yeah, and I know about that. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> For example, a Guan Yin and vegan practitioners, even well practicing and going to Samadhi, even just a third level light and sound practitioners can get up to 30 million an hour. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but cover yourself, huh? Or you sit in the shade and with the sun nearby is shining in, also good enough. Don't sit all day in the sun, it will burn you also. Okay? <laughs> you have cancer and all that. Okay, Just Master. Know. For example, if the sun shine through, yeah? You sit on the nearby the line of the sunshine, yes. <laughs> the sunshine square, <laughs> on the line of it, yeah? Or sit a while only and come back in that shade, okay? Direct under the sun and then go in the shade or under the sun and cover yourself like canvas or something. You know, like those awning, yes. awning through your window, that's also okay. Oh. Yeah? You don't have to sit direct in the sun in the hottest time of the day. It's not good for you, okay? Okay, Master. The sun will cure a lot of things, even psychological depression and all that. Yeah, you know that. Yes. It has been a pleasure to have your loving company for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples. Join us again on Monday for part two of the video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled Revelations of the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe. Now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants, coming up next after Noteworthy News. We wish you a happy and blessed week. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.